Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to discuss the Keto Chow Challenge. And we'll find out more about this challenge right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. Sometimes we do wild things like this challenge. <laughs> uh, we talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So while we were at KetoCon in Austin, Texas this year, we got a chance to meet and hang out with uh, Chris and Miriam, who are the owners of Keto Chow. I'm totally obsessed with them in a totally good way. Like, yeah, like don't get a restraining order. We're good. Um, no, but they're just such awesome people. Such nice people. I mean, we knew they were nice because we've been communicating with them with over Instagram for the mm -hmm. last few months. Uh, but just, it was such a pleasure to be able to sit down and meet with them. We went out to dinner at their house with them. They introduced us to a lot of people in the keto community. Just lovely folks. And we found out that like everybody in the keto community is as nice as them. Yeah, that was a really pleasant surprise. Right. Oh my gracious. So let's talk a little bit about keto chow, first of all. So what keto chow is, is it's a meal replacement shake. Mm -hmm. And several months ago, Chris actually reached out to us. He sent us some of the keto chow. We did a review on it. It was delicious. It was delicious. We liked it. But we did have some issues with it. Well, mostly one was we don't like to drink our calories. Yeah, that was the biggest one that we don't drink our calories. But we did know that there is a need for it in the community. And that you don't have to drink every single meal. Right. You could do it just one meal we a day. We didn't know that when we, we made the video. We weren't thinking that way. You, you know? know, like some people do their meal as a bulletproof coffee. Right. And that is a meal for them. Well, this could be that replacement, you That's know, right. obviously. Um, the other thing was the price when we only thought about like either avocado oil or heavy whipping cream being what you add to these shakes because that could get very expensive. But then our head exploded right. because he said, how about butter? Right. Now, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. So let's, one of the things about Keto Chow, and it, th these were sample packets that mm -hmm. he had given us. And this is what he had sent us. They have like a thing where you can try all the different flavors. There's so many flavors. There are so many flavors. But, so what we really liked about Keto Chow was it's, it comes in a packet like this. Mm -hmm. And you add your own fat. Right. So the only thing that we had seen when he would first sent it to us was... This, these videos that he had had on and he had talked about drinking them throughout the entire day and that was your meal. Mm -hmm. And what I liked about it was is so many times when you buy meal replacement powdered shakes where you add water, yeah. what ends up happening is is they're putting a fat in there that is bound to something like maltodextrin that you don't want. Right. And his shakes aren't. His shakes, you choose your own fat. So that's what Rachel was talking about where, you know, he said basically the fats you're going to use are either avocado oil mm -hmm. or you're going to use heavy cream. Yeah. And so for me, I was like, well, I'm going to have to use avocado oil because heavy cream is up to the amount that I'm going to need is going to add way too many carbs from my diet. Right. Again, not knowing that you can do it for just one meal a day. Exactly. I'm thinking like this is three meals a day. You know, when we know better, we do better. That's so right. like as we get more educated, we will pass on the knowledge in like, yeah. But we loved the flavor. Oh, and you know, lots of love. And again, my thing was avocado oil is going to be expensive. So if you would go back and look at that video, you'll see that what my negatives were. It was like, I, there's no way I could do it for three meals a day. Right. And um, it would be too many carbs if I used heavy cream, which to me would be the most delicious way. Yeah. And then avocado oil is just going to get expensive. Mm -hmm. And so like Rachel said, while we were hanging out with him, he was like, you can use butter. We are like, wow. So put a door on the front of the house and you don't have to climb through the window? Like, yes. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, and butter kind of solved both of those problems. Because first of all, butter tastes delicious, right? Nobody's hating butter. It's, it's no carbs, zero carbs. Carbs. Right. And then to top it off, it's the cheapest fat you can buy. Because you don't have to use Kerrygold if you don't want to. Nope. Like you could use just regular like Aldi's butter. Right. And it's an and it's a good, healthy animal fat. I like it. So while we were hanging out with him at dinner, I made the mistake of being like, I could do that. Because Chris actually did did drank nothing but keto chow a for a hundred days. days. So when we were talking, so he he gave us a challenge. Mm -hmm. And he's like 
can you do keto chow alone for seven days? We actually started at five, and I said, well, I'll do it for seven. I was not sitting next to no, Joe you were not part when of you made that decision. I for said, us. absolutely. Rachel and I are going to do this. We're going to do seven days of nothing but keto chat. Yeah, he came back. I could see across the room he was getting like an excited face on, and I was like, oh man, I'm about to eat like gizzards or something. And But I was delighted to find out about this challenge. Like, this is a good, happy challenge that I'm totally on board with. And when you let me know about it, I was like, Heck yes, let's do it. I'm up for it. Right. So we did have some flavors left over at home. We had one or two packets left from mm-hmm. the last time we had some because we gave a lot of them away. Yeah. And then when we were there, Chris gave us some different, some of these different sample ones, a bunch of different flavors. He said, I want you guys to go home, try some of them, figure out what flavors you want. And then How he nice sent them this? to us. So let's, he sent us two boxes right. and he sent us these awesome shirts. I love it. And again, now this, like... I don't want to say this, we're not like being paid to do this video or anything. No. Like, we just really like them and I think it's a cool challenge. We're always looking for new I'm challenges always up for or challenge. like that. And post down below if there's another challenge that you have for us, you want us to do, like let us know in the comments down below and we will absolutely consider it. If you're like brains for a week, uh, the answer to that one is no. Okay, but. so he sent us two boxes. Is that a smaller? This is a smaller one. Deadly device? Yeah. Because I'm afraid that I'm going to slice open a bag in here. But why won't you get a letter opener? Because you can't use a letter opener on tape. I feel like you could. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. Ooh, it's like Christmas morning. Wow. So what, first of all, he sent us a whole bunch of shaker cups. Oh my gosh, that makes me happy. Well, let's do one box at a time so we can get rid of a box. So you can, you can meal prep. Look, we're making a mess. That's, we're so we're so awesome at that. Look at these pretty colors. Okay. Gorgeous. So let's open up the other one. I love it. These shaker cups are so fun. There's no better shaker cup than a blender bottle. No. We're missing a lid. Maybe they're in Maybe here. Maybe it's in the other one. Yes. Aha. Look at this cute color. That one's yours. Okay, so what's in that box? In this box is some more, more shaker bottles, cups. Because this way you could meal prep. Right. So we'll talk about that. Here we go. We don't have enough room on the table for all of this. I love this. Look at this beautifulness. It's like okay, a rainbow. Take out the rest. Let's put some of these to the side. So we got some of the blender bottles out of the way. And the reason he sent us so many blender bottles is because you can meal prep with this. Well, and meal prep is good for Rachel. Right. Like, you want me to stay on target. And if I'm going to stay on plan with this, I'm going to have to have them, like, ready to go. I want to open up the refrigerator, grab this guy, and walk out the door. You do not want me standing in front of the refrigerator with an open door trying to negotiate, like, mm, I wonder if I should stay doing what I planned or should I choose from something else to eat like it's gonna derail me which is kind of like why we've been slowly this week like emptying out the refrigerator like I didn't even buy eggs like right now we only have about a half a dozen eggs in our house unheard of and usually there's like five to eight dozen in our refrigerator but the kids don't eat them as fast as us and if we have the eggs here I mean, use that as a backup plan exactly and we were having no backup plan. no backup plan so he sent us all the shaker bottles so we can meal prep, and then he told us to pick out two flavors, or four flavors total, so we said we're going to pick out two each. So Rachel, of course, went bland with all these awesome flavors like it's, Snickerdoodle. It's not bland. She picked out vanilla. I love vanilla. And chocolate toffee. I know. Well, it's going to be dessert <laughs> over in Rachel's side of the food Thing. Now, Chris did say that you can add like different flavorings to the vanilla, but we're going to just stick to this is what we got because you were going to get like cookies and cream. He's like, don't give vanilla and cookies and cream. They're too similar. Well, here's the thing. You know how like you can judge a soda company by its cola. That's We've right. said that you can judge a shake company by, by its vanilla, vanilla shake. I agree. I and agree. his vanilla shake is awesome. Okay. So now me, I picked out orange cream. Orange cream. Now, you're going to drink some of this orange cream. Like, you're not hoarding all the vanilla. We just, we each chose to. Well, you, you just sort of hate it on my vanilla. Like, no, it's all mine. No, it's funny. You always like orange cream. I love orange cream. I'm always chasing after the dreamsicle. Really? Yes. 
Okay. okay. Was that like your favorite popsicle as a kid? One something? of them, absolutely. So, so, and then we do have some of the samples left over, like there's a mocha here, and there's a raspberry cheesecake, and we have a banana. So we have a few other ones yeah. that we can intermingle. As a variety. But then also, he has a few savory flavors, which we've tried. They, they have a chicken soup one, like a good. cream of chicken. Uh, and it was really good. And once in a while, you may want something hot, because you're going to drink all of these cold. So we tried this one when we were out at KetoCon, and it's a spicy taco It was soup. ridiculous. You know, remember there was, for a short period of time, I don't even know if they still sell them, but like Campbell's Soup had a drinkable yep. soup for a while. And this tastes so good. I think this is what Campbell's was shooting for and just never achieved. This, I really like this. So yeah, so we've got the three, plus we've got, we've got the three like dessert flavors. And then we've got one... That's that like we can have kind hearty. of like as a dinner, yeah, right? Like a so we're, where it's a more savory flavor because mm -hmm. we wanted to try all the different ones. Yeah. Now, one of the things I found out after we got home from KetoCon that I didn't even know was that all of the different flavors are entered into chronometer. Yes, that is huge. Oh my gosh, because when we were like reviewing the first time, that was kind of one of the criticisms that we had that yes. you had to like pull out a card and you had to do all like the conversions and it just sort of was like making it more of a headache with your macros to like figure out what worked for your particular diet and your calorie specifications. Right, yeah, because like, like Chris said, right, he did this because he was lazy and I was looking looking at like, they've got this card, you've got to end, figure out or go to their website and put in how many calories and then you've, you've got to figure out like how much avocado oil or how much, you know, heavy cream to bring it up to what you want and or what if you want to use half and half or like half avocado oil and half heavy cream. And I was like, this is like way too much work. So this is a game changer. Yeah. So with it being in chronometer and we know that chronometer, like you can't just like you or I go in and put this stuff in. Because I will fudge numbers. Yeah, you're going to fudge numbers. And we all fudge numbers. Well, they have to verify the nutrition label. So if it's in chronometer, it's correct. Yeah. So now all you have to do is go to chronometer, for example, take like, okay, I've got the raspberry cheesecake and say I'm using one serving of this and then enter in whatever fat you want to bring it up to the calories you want. So for example, if Rachel needs 500 calories a meal, she's gonna put this in there and then she can just keep adding butter until it gets to 500 calories. That sounds like a really good plan. Just keep adding butter. <laughs> just keep adding it. Like, right. It's gonna be good. But even if, let's say you want to, you know what, I want a little bit of heavy cream so that I could make it more like a milkshake or yeah. thicker. Mm -hmm. You can say, well, I'm gonna use two tablespoons of heavy cream and then keep adding butter until you get to the right thing. It makes it much easier yeah. and it's all tracked at the same time. Don't you love that? So I love that about it. It makes it really easy. So let's get into the actual challenge. What are we going to have okay, to do? I'm going to put these off to the side because I see shadows and stuff everywhere. What do you guys think of our new background? We're trying different backgrounds. So. It's so beachy. <laughs> like I feel like we're at the beach. We're going to try different ones and see what's going on with them. I love so, okay, so here's the way the challenge will work. Today is Sunday, or it's it's not Sunday when we're filming this, but you're seeing this on Sunday. Oh, okay. Okay, so today is Sunday. We're going to start the challenge tomorrow. Do they have the lottery numbers? Because we could really use that That would now. be awesome, right? Wouldn't that be awesome? Could you guys go back to the future? And no. Can I finish now? Sorry. So today is Sunday. When you're seeing this, it's Sunday. I wanted to start today. Rachel's like, no, I'm not starting on Sunday. No. I still may start on Sunday, but I may do eight days. You do you, boo. Okay. So here's the way the challenge is going to work. Starting tomorrow on Monday, we are going to eat nothing but keto chow for seven days. Yay! I'm so excited. So we're going to go Monday mm -hmm. through Sunday, and we're going to end it the following Monday. Yep. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're not going to do intermittent fasting or anything like that. Nope. Just, you know, throughout the day. I will tell you this. This week, we've each been drinking one shake. And very filling. It is very filling. I don't think I could drink two or three of these in a sitting. I am so excited. I plan on being full next week. <laughs> So um, we're going to do, that's all we're going to do. Um, we have to put some limitations on our outside stuff, I think. Now, Chris did say that we could, um, he's, what did he say? We could chew gum, but we're not chewing gum. We've, no, we've given I've, up our gum. I gave up gum. And I asked him about Zevias, and he said that he has done this because he did it for 100 days. He said he has done it with stuff and without. Uh -huh. I'm going to make like, I'm going to put a little bit on myself. I'm going to allow myself two Zevias a day. Wow, there you go. Okay. And I think you should limit yourself to no more than two cups of coffee a day. You are crazy in your brain. I'm serious. Two cups of coffee a day. I think that's good. We've got to really see how this impacts us. If we bring too much outside stuff in, 
I think two cups is fair. I'll give you two. How about two travel mugs? Okay, two travel mugs. Because you usually drink about six of those. All right, so two travel mugs. Two travel mugs. So we're going to do two 16-ounce mugs. All right. So it's worth the trade-in because I really believe I will be full. Okay. So that will, like, that will like make up for the fact that I'm missing so much caffeine. Now, here's the other thing. No zip fizz. No zip fizz. No zip fizz. No MCT oil powder. No... Um, no Collagen, zip no, zip no zip fizz. No zip fizz. Seven that. days. The only extra, he said, there everything that we need is in here, but if we need some extra electrolytes, like let's say I'm working or something they like have that, electrolyte drops. we're going to use the Keto Chow electrolyte drops, which I don't have any on the table, I don't think. They're really good because they oh, don't. I do have a set on the table. Because they don't taste. So this is what we're going to use. Because they don't taste like anything. No, they're salt water. They're saline water. Beverage. Yeah. Beverage. 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 Yes. So that's what we're going to do. So only electrolyte drops and keto chow. You can have 32 ounces of coffee a day. All right. That sounds like a plan. And I can have two cans of Zevia. Everything else is either going to be water or seltzer water. <sighs> All right. Okay. Let's do this. Now, here's the one thing that we did find before we wrap it up in experimenting with this this week. So the way it's supposed to work is you're supposed to take the blender bottle or you can use a blender. We've been using our Vitamix to really get it nice and frothy. That gets so nice and frothy. We're going to use butter. We may add in a little bit of heavy cream. I may even try one day with avocado oil just to see how the taste is yeah. a little bit, change the taste a little bit. So if you're using butter, we have to melt the butter. Okay. And then you put it in. And so whatever amount of fat that you need. Like, so I'm usually going to do like six tablespoons of butter and you're doing four tablespoons. Do you hear that coming out of your mouth? I know, right? So I get to eat almost three sticks of butter a day. Isn't it like, yes! Life is so good. <laughs> so then what you do is you're supposed to add 14 ounces of water. Okay. Which actually means I get more volume than you. Not a lot because they're only bragging. Fat. But what I've been doing this week to give us more volume because we've been making it in the Vitamix, it probably does water down the flavor a little bit, but it's been delicious. I was going to say. I've it. been doing like whatever the amount of fat we need for yeah. just our sample this week. We'll try it different ways this week. Um, and then doing two cups of water. And then I've been putting like a cup of ice in it to make it like a milkshake. Well. And it's I, been pretty awesome. I need my drinks cold. Right. I like Well, now ice. you can. We're going to make them ahead of time so you can have them in the refrigerator. But I've been adding the ice to make it like an ice cream. Oh, I like that. So. So what do you think? I'm excited. Okay. I'm super excited. Now, along with this challenge, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of check in every single day mm -hmm. and we're going to measure our ketones yeah to see what it's doing to our ketones because that's a big deal right because if you're if you are relying on this if you would use this as a meal replacement and let's say hey as you are detoxing away from a carb life right right that's tough sometimes people will want to use this as a meal replacement to be like those first two weeks i've heard when you're like going through like the keto flu and all this kind of stuff like i'm afraid of myself as i make that switch from being carb fueled to being fat fueled so i don't want to think about cooking and stuff until i'm kind of over the hump so i can see people using keto chow just to get them over that first like couple week hump right, right? but we want to make sure that we're in ketosis when we're eating this, because wouldn't that be terrible if you like <laughs> ate it for two weeks and you were no further along in your keto journey? Right. Right. So that's a big reason why we want to test it because it's going to be isolated only the stuff. And again, what we're doing is not normal. No. No. Say <laughs> so it's not normal. Chris said he really, most people are using it for one or two meals a day, yeah. not all three meals. So no. people are kind of using it. Like you would use a slim fast, where like we used to go, you know, pre keto, and you go buy the little slim fast, slim fast shakes, and they would be like, drink one or two, and then have a sensible dinner. Yeah, that's really the best way to do this. But he has designed it that you can do just keto chow, and you're going to get everything you need. And that's why he did the hundred day challenge to prove it. Yeah, because he's putting his own health on the line, <laughs> you know. So a father of six. <laughs> So, yeah, he wouldn't do that if he didn't believe in his product. Right. Which I like. Yep. So that is our video for today. That is how this challenge is going to go. I'm so excited. We hope you guys are going to follow us along. Let us know down in the comment section if you've ever tried Keto Chow, what your favorite flavor is. Let us know if you think we're crazy for even doing this one because yeah. I know a lot of people are probably going, you guys are idiots. Well, that's okay. That, that won't be the first time we've gotten that response. But um, also, if you've used Keto Chow in different recipes, because yep. we've found that like you can also add it to oh recipes. Oh my God, yeah. They had us try some different recipes and stuff there, like little like brownie bites that are made basically like Keto with mozzarella, Chow and mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella. Oh, oh my gosh. God. It was like a fathead dough, but like chocolate flavored, which I know sounds completely weird. 
but it is awesome. Yeah, we'll get into those later on. So that is our video for today. If you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So let the challenge begin.